been winded. I've done this video three times, so here it is in short. The Lord is wonderful, and He's faithful, and He's glorious and victorious, and He's prosperous, and He's generous. Yeah. He cares about those that are disenfranchised. He draws near to the poor. He cares about the afflicted. He cares about those that are disenfranchised. He meets needs in ways that we know uh, don't even imagine. And um, He can prepare a table in the wilderness, and He can still feed the 5,000. Yeah. That's my story for today. The Lord took my faith and my desire that he put there, and he gave me the desires of my heart. I've been wanting to do a feeding out here in community and haven't had the ability to provide for it. I do help other um, feedings that they have, but I really had something in my heart. And out of nowhere, whatever, it's not nowhere, um, out of heaven and out of God's heart to my heart, he provided for me to do the thing that was in my heart. And I got a um, conversation with one of my sisters on Thursday, and she said, hey, we have this barbecue, we've got all this stuff left over, we've got like buns and hot dogs and hamburgers and chips and water, and we, do you know any place we can donate it? What? Yeah. And not only that, I went and talked to my brother, and I said, hey, I really have had this in my heart. I know we talked about it earlier last year, and now everything's been supplied. Would you come out with me? So my brother came out with me and served with me. And then even afterwards, we stayed for like two and a half hours um, talking to people, ministering to people, um, and just engaging with those that had come. So I just feel so grateful and so blessed. And I know we're moving toward Thanksgiving, but, you know, the scripture says, in everything give thanks. So as the people of God... Thanksgiving and an attitude of gratitude is something that should continue to be prevalent in our lives. But there are times that God just does something as spectacular and overwhelms us with his goodness. And that was what this day was for me. So I'm going to show you my little stomping grounds. And if you were in Jerusalem, they'd take you on a tour of some of the places Jesus walked. And I'm telling you right here that he was walking here yesterday. Yes, he was. Feeding the hungry. Kind of, and it's got a great backdrop, of course. I'm still at the little pond I normally meet, so they had a great view. The weather was great. The, we had these big, huge grills that could probably throw down 300 pieces of chicken at a time. So we did it all in one sweep. It was amazing. Me and my brother, just the two of us, were able to feed them all. He was barbecuing, and I was serving it up, and it was just so much fun and wonderful. And I, I made two specific real connections that I believe were divine appointments for sure. So, um, be salt, be light. Have a great and glorious, victorious day, my friends. Love you from afar, but love you near in my heart.